shaky.
It's your turn. I got this. <laughs> Allow me. Keep it together. I watch yourself. You got this. Taking over. Freeze. Oh, oh. We're pushing it. Okay, let's go. Good luck. I'll take care of them. It's your turn. I got this. Target's been neutralized. Excellent work out there. Ma'am. <laughs> Something on your mind, trooper? Very well. Permission to speak granted. That little hellion back there was a bioweapon developed by R&D with the cooperation of advanced weaponry. They were keeping it in that underwater facility of theirs, but it managed to escape during a recent incident. Our investigations are ongoing, but we suspect the Shinra Resistance Committee was involved. You're familiar with their operations? Nope, not at all. <laughs> What's the 7th Infantry still doing out here? I figured you guys would have been shipped back to Midgard by now. Normally, I wouldn't answer that sort of question. But why not? 
the brass ordered us to remain behind, following the ceremony. Anything else? Our orders were to neutralize the fleeing fiend and ensure the safety of the local populace. While we succeeded in locating the target and keeping it contained within an isolated area, it was too tough to take on. After we parted ways with you, we hurried back to Junon and called for additional reinforcements. But our calls went unanswered. There just aren't enough troopers to go around. That's bullshit. There's plenty of troopers. They just didn't want to help because they heard we were fraternizing with the enemy. They may operate as independent cells, but it seems they communicate regularly. Well, united by their desire to take down Shinra, the how and why of it varies considerably between factions. Some see civilian casualties as acceptable collateral damage, or our fault. I've no doubt these extremists sick that monster on the city. Such scum deserve nothing less than to be trapped in a room full of ton bears. I have to admit I was worried the situation might have gotten completely out of hand. But you managed to bring it under control. You did good out there today. <laughs> I must say, in all my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd have a soldier in my ranks. One who keeps such unusual company at that. Suspected terrorists. A Wutaya ninja. An escaped lab rat. And an ancient. At ease, we're heading home. I need to report today's events, how the 7th Infantry resolved the crisis on its own. So you're not gonna tell them about us? <laughs> no, but you best leave before I change my mind. Otherwise, I might just strap you to the back of a dragon. Assuming we all live long enough, there's a chance we may meet again someday. Though let's hope for your sakes that it isn't on the field of battle. We thank you for your support, Captain. 7th Infantry, salute! At ease, troop. We're good this time. Something it's break time. Make sure to never ever miss a tweet. gonna cost you two grand. Two grand? Although, for a visage of such pulchritude... If I had the money, I'd pay your price in a heartbeat. But alas... I'll pay you if you rein it in. Don't think I caught your name. 
Oh, oh my sincerest apologies. I'm Neve, and I write children's books for a living. Which sounds fun, but it's not, since right now I'm flat broke. I spent my last remaining gill to come scout out this village. I was hoping to use something here in my next book, but... <sighs> the specter of failure stalks me, looming from behind every corner. Will my creative instincts ever return? Or am I doomed to chase them like a rat in a life-size maze? Wait, what did you say? And that sounded a lot like... <gasps> I'm a rat trapped in a life-size maze! Sorry, but I just gotta ask. You're Meave Mabel, aren't you? Author of Life in the Endless Maze. <laughs> That's my daughter's favorite book in the whole world. Can I get an autograph? Wait, actually, can I shake your hand? Uh, 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 of course. Anything for a fan. I mean, I always assumed I didn't have any. But it's an incredible honor to finally meet an aficionado of my work. Oh. <laughs> you said you were scouting this village for book ideas, yeah? <laughs> if it's all right with you, we'd love to help. Got the perfect guy to serve as inspiration, too. What? You are perfect! I am? Yes, I can see it now. A warrior beast with as fiery as his burning soul! <laughs> Curse this feeble frame! My mind races, yet my hands plod along as if trapped in treacle! Miss Mabel, are you all right? <sighs> Resolve, suffering, odyssey. Help me to express these themes by taking pictures which embody them. I beseech you. Resolve? Suffering and Odyssey. Those are great themes. We're gonna need locations to do them justice, though. There's a riverbed by the edge of the forest that'll work. Come on, let's hit it up. I can't wait to see your photos. They're sure to help me write a story like no other. Good side. Make sure to catch my good side, all right? We're off to, uh... Oh, I know. The Mako Reactor. Come on, we gotta keep this thing rolling. Just like the book. Escape the maze and be free.
gotta capture his all. And in my humble opinion, there ain't no better backdrop than right here, where jungle meets desert. Look right at the camera, and think of when we made our heroic charge straight into this godforsaken tank. All right, make sure to get my good side.
Okay, make way for the bottle. Let's see. Next, we're off to, uh, oh, I know, the Mako Reactor. Come on, we gotta keep this thing rolling, just like the book. Escape. one yet. Perfect! 
Better hurry and get these back to Miss Mabel. Welcome to Gungaga. Ain't nothing to Interested in learning how we cultivate our mobile? Don't forget to try some of our home. This is the GYC! Here you go, Miss Mabel. Think these will spark your imagination? What is this feeling? It's as if my hand has become a conduit for the gods of prose. Uh, uh, there once was a crimson warrior who everyone loved. He was so strong they called him the king of the forest. But he wanted to be even stronger, so he went on an adventure. That's actually not too bad of a start. While on his journey, he came across a group of three brave knights. The knights were very impressed, and they told him, You are the king of which the legends foretold! Please, lead our people to victory! Oh, wow! I like where this is going! He gazed off into the distance and with conviction declared, Though I began my journey as king of the forest, that is not where I shall end it. My future lies far beyond the woods. This is bound for the bestseller list. A surefire hit. Right, Cloud? You never know. Oh, man, you really just don't get it, do you? Listen, you gotta have faith. If you don't write something you think will sell, it won't. So believe. Trite, but quite true. Mmm. I can't wait to read this to my Marlene. Don't want to rush you, but I hope you can finish it soon. Thank you, and I promise that the instant it's complete, I'll make sure to send you and your daughter a copy. Oh, right, and one for our best steel brainchild. <laughs> Got a slightly troubling report. But not troubling enough to let us go with her. I'm Captain. It just makes sense for me to go. Yeah, but not by yourself. We're talking in circles. If I may, as you can tell by looking at him, Cloud here has a lot of experience taking care of trouble. So, why don't you send him on patrol instead? Don't worry, I'll go. Give you time to talk things over. What do you think? Hmm. Okay then, if you've got time to spare. Recently, folks have spotted some foul-looking fiends outside the village. I want you to head to the observation tower. Take a look around. See if you notice anything suspicious. Just leave it to him. Corner around of Verdant Breeze! 